us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your district. Uh, I, my district is uptown Minneapolis and the part of the lakes and Bryn Mawr and a little bit of downtown. I've lived in the area for 10 years. Uh, I'm married, I have two stepdaughters who are 16 and 18. And uh, I moved here to work at the Pillsbury Company, so started in the private sector and uh, have volunteered a ton in politics and am now finding myself on a new path. And what led you to run for state representative? Well, as I mentioned, I've volunteered a lot with the DFL in the district, and I've always worked in peripherally, at least, in policy. I started my career in Washington, D.C., working for some nonprofits. And then here, I started in marketing, but ended up in a policy role for medical device companies. Uh, and I work in health policy and health finance in particular. So it's very germane to what's going on federally and at the state level. And if you could offer up the first bill of the session, what would it be? Ooh, there's so many, so many topics I'd love to see some change on. I think, when I think about my experience going door to door uh, over the course of the campaign, the issue that my district is most concerned about is the state budget. And not only figuring out how to get our financial house in order, but also safeguarding the things that we think are important, like education, health care. Um, so wrestling with some tough budgetary choices, honestly, um, but in the meantime, investing in the things that we think are going to have longer term uh, payout for Minnesota. There are also kind of not to be forgotten social justice issues. I, I think a, a big area for my or a big issue for my district is marriage equality um, and GLBT issues in general. So that's something I'd love to work on and not leave to the wayside while we're focusing on kind of how we function next year because we have to figure out the budget. When the end of session finally rolls around in May, what will determine whether or not you have been a successful legislator? I'd like to have a reputation as a legislator who is always reaching across the aisle and working collaboratively within my own party and with uh, people of the opposing party. I'd also like to be somebody who's led on issues, so collaborative, but also kind of out in front, not, not picking issues that are kind of easy ones, uh, so to speak, but also leading in ways that, that move us forward as a state. If you could sit down and have a conversation with anyone, living or deceased, who would it be and what would you talk about? Mm, so many people. I'd like to sit down with Abraham Lincoln. Uh, he's somebody who held this country together at a time when we were hugely divided. And when you think, I think so much of our dialogue right now is about who we are as a country, what we're going to be like, and clearly those were questions that were uh, at the forefront um, during his presidency. And how did he? bring people together, what were some of his fears and concerns, kind of what were his innermost thoughts, and how did he keep moving forward and kind of stick to it? I've reached the end of my questions. Is there anything else that you'd like to talk about or something that you would like to add? There's nothing I'd like to add other than uh, for anybody who's viewing this and didn't have their question answered, please contact me. Great, thank you. Thank you for sitting and talking with us. Thank you.